Welcome back to Hoop D's Rides and Reviews. Sorry, I've been MIA for a while. I have been doing some crazy things at work. But anyways, I've got a full Metal Gear set for my brushless build that I've been running. I took this truck out and I was doing another video. I don't know if you've been following along on my channel. And the brand new drive shaft that I ordered completely fell apart. Uh, I've been wrecking one of these pans right here. Must have just fell out. This one here. Is the one that I lost and then I had to wait a whole nother month to get a drive shaft for this thing and I'm still waiting on pieces for other trucks talking to a subscriber might order me another truck but I have to take care of a few things first but I'm ready for a full send on this thing I'm gonna go ahead and throw this drive shaft on rip this cage off and throw this gear set on there waiting to see what these gears look like since I've been running the brushless don't look too bad I was really expecting those gears to be completely destroyed but I guess they're in good shape and uh, what I've been told before is if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm just gonna leave those be for right now until they do destroy themselves because obviously it's a plastic spur gear so it's not gonna last forever but might as well get the life out of it while we can you can see that's what's left of the other drive shaft. I'm going to go ahead and pop that piece off and just slide the other one on and save the other one for later. And there she is installed. Waiting for this battery to charge over here. Things a bit touchy. Yeah, those open discs are not for climbing. All right, let's send it. Alright, so I finally got the steering dialed in, I've got the drive shaft situation fixed, and we are ready to send this thing, hoping for about 60 miles an hour, I need to get a speed meter. Eh, we'll just see how she goes. Uh, those axle spacers make this truck sag pretty bad. Let, let the tires up. It's more sensorless, so it is very touchy. It is extremely, extremely more stable. With those spacers on there. Woo, squarely. This thing is just extremely unstable. I just, I just don't have any confidence in the, uh, the steering setup on this truck. I really want to just try a whole new platform. This truck is very tough. Maybe swap over my electronics to another platform. I've been looking at a uh, monster truck platform on AliExpress.com. Might be able to do something with that. Let's bring it back. Woo, wipe out. I know everybody likes to see some tire ballooning, so let's see what she can do. Oh, destroyed my drive shaft. Look at that. Son of a... Alright, back again. That is like the fourth drive shaft I've been through. 
I'm going front wheel drive. Let's try this again. Pretty gnarly. All right, we're gonna do a front wheel drive soon. It's probably gonna chew up my tires, but oh well. I got no choice. Spinning the tires. And definitely cannot nail it on it like this. Hard to drive like that. It's really hard to capture it, but these front wheels are just they're towing in real hard when I give it some gas. All that power going to the front end. See, it's bucking. It's hard to get the power down. I've had my eye on one more drive shaft. Might give that a shot. Might just have to try one more. But I might need another platform to work with. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with drive shafts, obviously. I'm going to try to get it together. I'm a little bit frustrated right now, so I'm cutting this video off right now. I'm just a little bit sad that I keep destroying drive shafts, but this truck is just not made for it. I uh, really need to find me like a nice 10 scale MT with some universal shafts that can uh, handle the power. Alright, till next time, please subscribe. Deuces. And if you hated this truck because it just kept failing, kept falling apart, uh, give me a thumbs down. Whatever. I guess so. Deuces. So much power. Battery's dead. <laughs>